So we finish up with chapter six, screencast number seven, and we were talking about some of the environmental and human health issues associated with mining and some actions that can help to um, remediate this or minimize this. And the last point on this slide is about outdated legislation. Most of the legislation for mining occurred in 1875 and very little of it has changed since then. There have been some changes to um, require reclamation of a mountain, for example, but sometimes mining companies work around that, declare bankruptcy, and therefore they can't put the mountain back together again. But when that can happen, even though it's a slow process, it is a, a better one for the environment. So next we'll look at the true cost of mining gold. So two wedding rings, just two wedding bands, not counting a diamond or anything else, produces six tons of waste. That's three mid-sized sedans, just waste material for two little wedding rings. And that's because Gold is no longer available just as a nice big chunk of gold. Junk, uh, gold is found as in veins in rock. If you might have seen rocks that have veins in them, that's how the gold is typically found now. And so an acid cyanide is sprayed onto the rock in a very, um, not technologically difficult, but um, toxic way to extract the gold from the veins in the rock. And there are diminishing returns to this um, because you have less and less gold each time. In addition, you have waste ponds. So similar to other ponds that we've seen, including manure ponds, um, these waste ponds are attractive to wildlife and they don't understand that it contains toxic material. And so they can die as a result of that. Now, gold can be recycled. It can be either used, sold as, say, an antique ring, or the antique ring could be recycled, melted down again, and formed into a new style, and that would be recycled gold. And there's been a lot of that available now in the market because gold has had, there's fewer and fewer amounts of gold out there, so the price of it has gone up dramatically. And so people will now buy recycled gold or reuse gold, such as a used or antique ring. Oh, so this is a picture of a mine. Um, this one is a gold mine. And these are the leaching ponds here. There are also mines, gold mines are often underground. Um, so let's see, this one is in South Dakota. So again, we can do, we have a role here in decreasing environmental and human health consequences of mining by using substitute products whenever possible, recycling. Um, there's one example of recycling that I found interesting when the Navy retires those giant ships of steel. They actually sell the material to, um, to Gillette, which is up in Boston, which makes razor blades. So that's an interesting example of recycling on a grand scale. Reusing would be something like reusing a ring, a wedding ring from one generation, passing it on from one generation to the next. Um, improving mining and manufacturing processes. Certainly there's a way to go on that. Again, slowing population growth. The fewer people we have, the less these resources are needed. Um, governments can apply, apply economic incentives or disincentives so that either the human health is preserved or the environment is restored. So that's a wrap for this chapter on resources and their extraction. Um, do review the key concepts about the availability of Earth's resources being determined when the planet was formed, Earth's formation in layers, 
how the earth is constantly changing through the tectonic cycle, the rock cycle, weathering, erosion, deposition, soil formation, um, and the fact that obtaining and using mineral resources has social and environmental consequences um, that are significant.